decided to build a fully addressable Wi-Fi controlled RGB LED tube one. The result was actually pretty fun. I can control it from Apple HomeKit using some neat software integrations, and I can even send custom commands from a Python program to each LED. Taking a look at what's inside, we find a few wire nuts I used to group the power supply wires. The 5V DC input is split off to the LED strip itself and the microcontroller. Then a single data wire connects the LED strip to the ESP32 Wi-Fi controller. The physical construction is a 3D printed base that doesn't block the lights, which are a 144 LED per meter strip. From the base stands a 4 foot fluorescent tube light guard cut to size. This is basically just a lightweight plastic tube with end caps that I picked up from the hardware store. It has two layers of wax paper wrapped around the inside. At the very center is a dowel rod with the LED strip glued to it so it stays straight. At the center of my smart home is a Raspberry Pi computer running Home Assistant, an open source home control software. Using Home Assistant and its integrations, I was able to link the WLED firmware that runs on the ESP32 to Apple HomeKit. Any smart device on the network is usually picked up by Home Assistant automatically, and such is the case with the WLED tube light. WLED is an open source firmware for ESP Wi-Fi controllers that has a lot of pre-built effects and provides Wi-Fi connectivity to the LED strips. To set up the connection to the Home app on my Apple devices, I configured a HomeKit bridge and Home Assistant to forward all the light accessories, including the WLED device that I have set up there. I have one for my effects as well as one to reset the tube light back to a solid color. These accessories are then forwarded to HomeKit after following the pairing process in the Home app. The last thing I wanted to get working was custom commands to update any pixel on the strip over Wi-Fi. Luckily, WLED includes a UDP interface, so I was able to write some code that utilized a function I found on the WLED GitHub to do just that. Now I can make custom effects and animations. I was able to build this tube lamp for just around $35, not including the Raspberry Pi, of course. I'm pleased with the result, and I'll be messing around with some light experiments and programming in the future. I did some research before making this project, and I'll share the links to everything I used to get this working in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone, and take care.